Okay, I'm back. So, got a little bit more progress done on her skin and her face and her hair a little bit. So, um, was my friend was here and we had a good bunch of laughs and talking about random doodads and things. Um, she's gone now. She had to go home because, you know, her her Korean her Korean dramas were calling her and I don't have internet at my house so she couldn't watch them here. So off she goes and she will be missed because I love her. She's my best friend anyway. But yeah, so I, I mentioned this in like my Jazza box opening video, how like she bought me the Jazza art box, you know, for my birthday. And she's really is amazing though. Like we've been friends for so long and I don't ever want to stop being friends with her. She's awesome. Like, just like practically my family, like. When you're friends with someone for, you know, 15 years or longer, like, you're pretty much family at that point, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, um, so what I am doing is um, I've started watching Keish on YouTube. He's this, like, uh, Indian artist. He's really cool he's a, he's so kind and funny and um very inspirational and he's got like some little lessons on like how to you know start off and how to do this and how to do that for a beginning artist and you know he kind of talks about you know how his art changed over time and whatever um like me personally i used to take art very very seriously um, especially when I was a teenager, I used to draw all the time and then, you know, life kind of happens. Like, you know, I got a kid and then I got, you know, had another kid and, um, there was a moment where I was drawing, um, more again, which was great. But then I, I really slowed down sometime between 2000 and 18 to 2019 it's like I just lost all motivation to draw and take my art seriously I was doing random doodles on my Instagram drawing on my my work uh, papers or drawing on like sticky notes and stuff and they were fun to do and they were really cute but in the same in the same breath it wasn't what I wasn't really proud of my work. I obviously because they were just random doodles. Um, I guess in a sense it was a way for me to continue to draw without having any expectations uh, for my own artwork. Um, you can't get let down if you don't have expectations, right? <laughs> like, oh, my art sucks. Okay. And nobody's liking my art. Well, it's okay because my art sucks on purpose and I'm not really trying. Can't get my feelings hurt. No one's liking my art and whatever, whatever. So anyway, I start watching Keish and I've been binge watching all of his videos all week long. And I got to thinking to myself, Meg, you, you you need to get back into it. You you're not you're not satisfied. You're not proud of your work like you used to be, and you're not really all that happy. So, um, yeah. And he's got this hundred day drawing challenge. And so I've been I started on it. This is day two, and it and and each day has a prompt. And um, I was I was telling my friend when she was here. I was telling her about him and. While my first video was uploading, I was showing him, showing her his videos, and, you know, she really liked him. She thought he was cool, and I said, you know, I feel like, yeah, there's Inktober, and yeah, there's Mermaid, and Junicorn, and all these fun little Instagram-y um, things that artists like to do, and I've attempted to do them myself, but I always lose interest, like, partly through or whatever, and I think it's because there's no real... Um, substance behind these drawings there's no real challenge it's everybody's doing the same thing you don't really have any kind of a mentor or anyone you're personally following but I feel like watching Kesha's videos it's like I feel like I'm really a part of something I feel like he's got an Instagram and I'm sharing and so are all of his fans and we get to see each other's artwork because we're all doing the same thing and it's geared towards 
his YouTube video, which I know this is all rambling and maybe it makes sense to some and maybe some people are like, this chick's stupid. <laughs> she's dumb. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, it's, it's no different. But in a sense, to me, it's different. It's not like... It's so different than, than Inktober where, like, everyone's doing it or whatever. It's it's more personal. It's more of a learning experience. And um, I, I am, I'm enjoying it, you know. I'm really... You're supposed to draw for six minutes a day. And the goal is just to finish something, you know. And it doesn't have to be perfect or amazing. It just has to be... Six minutes of you sitting down and and doing something and, and making sure it's done and then, you know, you post it and you're done. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm obviously going longer than six minutes. Um, I'm not, not in a sense trying to be a perfectionist, but this is my own way of getting back into taking it seriously, you know? getting back into art, taking myself seriously, pushing myself to see what I can create with the art prompts that he's given, and um, being proud of my work again, you know? Um, this is me, and art is beautiful. I love art so much, and I want to do it for the rest of my life, you know? I'm never going to stop drawing and I'm never going to stop painting and I want to always better myself and and see what I can I can do try new techniques and new fun designs and also I I want to find you know who who am I what's my style um I've never felt like I really had a style I've always been really good at copying um what I see uh not in the sense of like realism, you know what I mean? Like I cannot do portraits. <laughs> I can draw you and make you look like this. <laughs> but um I can if I saw someone who doodled anything like like Mario. Boom. I could draw that, you know. Paw Patrol, I could draw it. Like, I could draw cartoon stuff and make it look decent, like halfway decent. It looks okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I I want to be able to have my own art style. And the only way you're going to do that is obviously by drawing. And that's also a big, a big goal of this 100-day challenge is by the end of the challenge, um taking a look at your art and seeing how it's progressed as the days have gone by and seeing has it become more uniform has it become more geared towards the things you like to draw um what parts of your art do do you like you know certain styles of faces certain styles of mouths or hands or whatever and um I'm very excited to see how my art progresses to the end of this. Now, <coughs> granted, this is a 100-day challenge, and I'm using the the art, uh, the sketchbook that came in the Jazza box. It's the sketchbook right here. And it's only an 80-page sketchbook. So I may not go to the full 100 days because I'm going to – my goal is to fill this sketchbook up completely. Um, so once it's filled, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm going to call it done. Once it's filled and the 80 pages are filled up, I'll call it done there. Uh, so there's that, but, and, and I'm not going to upload every, a video of every single drawing. I'm, I am going to post every single drawing on my Instagram because that's fun. I love Instagram. Oh, I missed a thing. Um, and the only reason why I'm not going to post drawings on my YouTube every day is one, look here, I only have 19 subscribers and, uh, nobody's really watching my videos anyways. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not posting on YouTube for money. I'm posting on YouTube because it's fun. All right. It's fun. 
I get to talk to my camera like a loser and I get to um, have some me time after my kids go to bed because look here, look, I have two kids and um, you need your me time after they pass out, okay? And this is this is my me time <laughs> to draw and record and maybe post a video, maybe not post a video, who knows, who cares, right? And if someone watches my video and they really like it, hey, leave a comment if you want. You don't have to like the like button and you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to because this is for me, okay? This is, this is my fun thing. If you don't like my video, that's cool too, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm not like tripping. I love interacting with people. I'm on YouTube like all the time. I'm always like watching uh, artists on YouTube and um, sometimes I'll comment and sometimes I won't. And um, Usually it's like, oh my gosh, your artwork is amazing. Oh my gosh, you're so cool. <laughs> like a total like loser because I am a loser. Um, most of the time I just like and move on to the next video though. I don't always comment on everything. <laughs> but any anyway. <laughs> um I love YouTube. Gosh, I love YouTube. It's so fun. It's fun seeing everybody. There's so many different artists out there. Like my main like new like YouTube feed is art. And like politics, art and politics, like that's it. That's all. That's all my feed is. <laughs> like I binge watch artists, and then I binge watch, uh, you know, people griping about the world today. And that's that's what I like to do. Some people might say, "Oh man, you watch politics videos all day. You must be miserable." No, I'm not miserable. <laughs> It's really fun for me. I like getting a good rant too. Like <laughs> I like ranting about stuff. That's one thing I love about my BFF. Like the like my friend that was just here. Um we have like such opposing opinions on politics and we're still best friends. I think I said that in, in one of my previous videos, like just because media says the left and the right are enemies doesn't make it true. You can be friends with people on the other side because at the end of the day, politics and your views on, on politics don't make you who you are. Like you can have opinions on stuff, but that's not you you're you my friend loves me for me and I love her for her we're bffs like we'll always be friends and we we respect each other's differences and opinions so I just want to get that little message out there I cannot stress that enough you can be friends with people on the other side and still have a dang good time because we do Oh my gosh, I just love those colors. They're so 